Welcome to Amateur Weeb Hour. Ohio goes on us or whatever. I am your host, not the other guy. Today we've got good. That's a good bro. Today we've got Hatsune Miku. Today we're going to be putting together these Piperoid friends. They're these little paper tubes that are going to turn into these little figures, these square figures. And they're themed after Hatsune Miku and Megadine Luka, two Vocaloids. They're Japanese virtual singers. And we've got extra face parts included, so we've got interchangeable faces. They've got these cute little expressions. I'm really excited to figure out how these tubes will turn into little square people. So, let's take a look inside, shall we? Alright, let's take a look inside of here, shall we? We got these little tubes. Little faces. They're so cute. Alright. We got these instructions right here as well. So, tools needed. Only you need is scissors. That's some well written instruction. Glue is not necessary. <laughs> it says only you need is scissors. <laughs> How do I say this without laughing? <laughs> as it is. <laughs> Tools needed. Only you need is scissors. Glue is not necessary. We got our only needed scissors over here. Refer to the following tips when assembling the pieces. Fold inwards toward dot line. Flatten the piece and fold it. An arrow above a part number shows the upper side. So that'll be helpful. We've got marks on where to cut the pipes. Cut the pipes along the white lines with the scissors, and then for pipes marked with a star, cut at the edge of the hole. So we've got the little pieces that have little stars on their faces. We cut at the very edge of the hole, it says. So we're gonna probably start by cutting the white lines, like it says. I'm a little nervous about it, but we're gonna do it. So cut. See how we cut near the hole on that one. Cut. 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 I wish I could say that was all of the cutting, but we also have to take all of the gray parts off. So here we go. got all of them. So now let's take a look in the instructions and see what we do next. So first we're gonna put together Miku. We got instructions for both Miku and Luka. So with Miku we start with our little number threes. Let's find those. It looks like they're gonna be these guys. 
We're gonna have the little rectangles on the outside. Let's see. This guy right here. We're gonna take our number 17 roll, which will be this guy right here. Right in between. Dang, that's a tough fit. bit of a struggle but made it there looks about right take a little number four piece we're gonna fold on these dotted lines Easiest task, these papers are a little thick. I don't know how that's going to work for paper. Take this piece, I'm just going to put it this way. two pieces and make a little fold right here I'm just going to fold these little hands in Holding the hands, we've got these little. <clears throat> After folding the, goodness gracious! After folding the hands, we got these little little arms, which are gonna go on our little body. We have her tattoo. It's on her left side. Make sure that's on the correct side there. And the arm got the tattoo. 
goes right here. Now we have that. It's a little bit creepy without a head. So now we're going to take this number 18 piece and slide it right through here. Yourself and done. Now we're going to take this little number five piece. It's got a little headband on top. Go ahead and fold on these little bottom lines here. that piece Probably cut out the me struggling. <laughs> I mean, freaking fast forward through it. <laughs> Gotta kinda manhandle these pieces to get them to fit. Next thing to do, I'm going to take these little pieces here, these number seven pieces. I'm going to fold on these dotted lines here. I want them to fold outwards like that. So far we have this little headless creature, which from behind is a little terrifying, but that's okay. There she is. Now we get to take the face. I'm gonna fold on the dotted lines here.
and the face just kind of slots in like that. We have our little Hatsune Miku. She has her prop, a little leak. She can do her little leak dance. We also have we also have for her a little optional face. We get a choice of the two. So we bend this little guy in place. And if you so desire, you can swap out that face. Look at her, now she's so happy. She's so cute and happy. Oh, what's the name? Miku. His little arms will move a little bit. It's very interesting since everything's on tubes. It feels pretty movable. There you go. So now we got Luca left to do. We got Miku all finished up. There's her little leak. Extra face. Now we got Megadine Luca next. So for Luca, we're gonna start with these number 10 pieces. Our little sleeves. Just knocking down Miku. So for Luca, we're going to start with these number 10 pieces, little sleeves right here. We're going to grab this number 19, much like Miku, we're going to push that piece through the middle. Next, we're gonna take the number 11 piece right here. Gonna fold on the little dotted lines. Those are gonna go right on the ends right here. Body started up. Next, we're gonna take our little number nine parts, her little hands. We're gonna fold up the dotted lines, just like before. There's some little hands. Luca also has these little numbers. Hers aren't tattoos though, they're just on her sleeve. That'll be on her left hand side.
take this number 20 piece and stick it to the top right here. take our number 12 piece here. She's got her little headband on top. I'm gonna fold on these dotted lines right here. Bit of a struggle getting this one on. There we go. Scoot it down a little bit. We have our little headphones sticking out. Last but not least, I'm going to take her face, number 15 piece. We're going to go ahead and fold on the dotted lines. Pop that face. She's backwards. I'm going to pop the face. Right on in. And of course, just like Miku, we've got the little number 16 piece, which is our extra face. So we can pop this face right out. We got another one that we can pop right in. And pick whichever face you want. There's your little silly face. She looks so cute. And there we have Natsune Miku and Megadina and Luna. They're so Cute. No. This has been a fun little paper craft project today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, throw a like down below. If you disliked it, that's okay. I had a lot of fun making this project and I hope you guys had fun too. Stay tuned for the next Amateur Weave Hour. We have a lot of fun projects for you in the future. See you next time. I did it.
did it.